Okay, so I just literally drove around like a madman for three hours for no reason at all. Like, just to get out of the house and drive. Didn't go to a single drive through didn't step out of the car, didn't even go for a walk, just drive. Because I was losing my mind, it's day 11 tomorrow of being on lockdown and I can't do what I normally do. Anyway, there are three things I want to address in this part three. Uh, and I realized on my drive, I did a lot of thinking just now. So anxiety is one of them. I feel a lot of anxiety. Um, I feel regular in amounts of anxiety like anyone else, but probably more so than anyone else. Like even just going to the grocery store is tiring. And I always feel like I have bags under my eyes after I come back. Like, just being around people is exhausting. I never look forward to go to the store. Ever. Ever. I don't remember one moment where I was like, Yay, we're going to the store. Or we're going anywhere for the matter. Um, I don't remember a single time that I was excited, genuinely. Um, I was always scared, anxious, nervous. Even when it's like, yeah, we're going to your friend's birthday party. I don't know who's going to be there. I'm terrified. I'm petrified. Um, anything just a little bit beyond my comfort zone is like, ah, I don't want to go. I don't want to do this. And I've had to push myself to do the things I normally wouldn't do all my life. And that's, <sighs> I guess, why I'm here today. I don't know. Like, I didn't even get my driver's license now that I think about it. Uh, and my first car until I was 21 years old. I was so scared that I was going to fail the test. I was anxious to drive a car with a complete stranger inside. I could go on and on. I was terrified to buy my first car. I, my mom went with me. Like, my mom went with me through a lot of things that I normally... Like, purchasing a house. I couldn't didn't know how to do that by myself. Are you kidding me? Of course I got all the help I could. Um, I couldn't probably even face the realtor. I couldn't, I couldn't do a lot of things. And it's better today, but I still can't do a lot of things. I can't enter a club... I, I don't care to, first of all. I can't enter a bar. I'm terrified to. Um, again, no interest, even if I wanted to. But I can't. The thought just, like, I lock up and I freeze up and, yeah, I just can't do it. Um, so I don't just don't meet people. I don't care to. Um, and so anxiety is a big one. So, yeah, if you've watched part one and part two of this series... You get to understand, it's a huge part of it. And a lot of your old fears come up like, because you're not like other people. And how are you gonna come across? How are you gonna talk like with other people? And I prefer to be alone, you know, it's a new, a new lifestyle choice, meaning like it's always been within me, but I didn't realize all this time, like that the reason things don't work out with others is because I, I'm just meant to be by myself. Like I don't, I sabotage things on purpose, unconsciously, because I'm just not meant to be with these people. People in general. Uh, like a hermit. So, you know, I've had to make peace with that, and that's okay. Another thing is talking robotically, talking monotonously. And I'm like this now because I just, I don't know, I'm kind of parched and thirsty. I have water, but... Um, barely been drinking it so like driving with air in the car for three hours makes you sound like that but um i guess people with autism get told a lot that they talk robotic sound monotone sound robotic acrobatic i've had friends tell me i act like it so you know that's just another thing um i don't know where humanity got to figuring all this stuff out and putting a diagnosis in the spectrum it's beyond me. Like, human psychology is one of the hardest things to diagnose and figure out. Because they all blend and merge with one another. How the heck could you know what someone is? Unless, I guess, you are a trained professional. 
I'm still not about the label, to be honest with you. It, it, it's still not the label of autism, but labels in general. Even calling me gay is offensive. Like, I, it still is to me to this day. It still is offensive in 2020. Um, like, I'd just rather you tell me that. I like, guys, whatever. You know, like, I just don't like the label. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, and a lot of things that people normally don't find uncomfortable make me uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Three flipping hours. For no reason. Just wasting gas. Because my butt mostly sits home. But because I... When I'm told to sit home, I'm like, hmm, maybe I don't want to, you know. But, um... Anger is another one, guys. Boy, oh boy. I have random outbursts for no reason. Over the smallest of stuff. And so I kind of came to the conclusion, like, it could be that, you know. I'm so sorry, this is really me. <laughs> to keep yawning. Dang, I didn't even go to the park or anything. I'm kind of worried for my tooth here on the bottom. Because I have tongue tied, and it's now pulling on my gum slowly. And as I was told, eventually the tooth might fall out. And it, it, it's being sensitive every single day. Which it never used to be. And... I don't know. Sometimes I'm afraid to talk too much because it's like it's pulling on it slowly and there's nothing I can do. And now like the worst time to go to the dentist is now. And then I got sensitivity the other day up here. So it ended up being nothing but it freaked me out a bit. It was like maybe that's the story of a cavity. I don't want to touch my head because um, I filled gas. By the way, gas. Oh my god, I filled the whole tank. Wow, I wasted more than half my tank on my drive. Oh my god, my Jeep really is a gas guzzler. Sorry, mother guy. I'm killing you. Fifteen dollars for <laughs> that's nothing. Oh my god. It's usually double that. Um anyway guys. Uh I just parked to chat and then I'm going straight home. Like literally. This is just because I have not been vlogging. I'm just so tired today. Like the weather's weird. My whole family's been saying they've been feeling this way today. I think everyone's probably feeling this way. I'm too scared to meet people. Even just one person, one friend, no way. Like, I don't care if the president wants... Ew, no. Let me use a better example. I don't care if God wants to meet me today, okay? I will not meet you. I will catch Coven. No, but it's not funny. Like, it's not funny at all. Um, it's just not funny, guys. I'm gonna go wash my hands profusely when I get home. And, um... Upload videos. Upload this video. Hey, Saturday. I'm only uploading one video. I'm just, I just don't feel like doing anything. Someone asked me, like, are you going to continue spoiling us during this quarantine? Yes. Yes, I will. Until further notice. Until things get better. I will continue spoiling you with the videos. You'll miss these, I promise you. If things get better, I, I won't post as much. And you guys will be like, I miss when you did these daily or two times a day or whatever. Oh my god. It's so hazy today. What is up? I feel like I just got back from a long flight. Like, that's, that's how pooped I am. Pretty much going 84 for two and a half hours. Oh my god. Just tiring. Like half the time I had music playing. And then I realized I brought the wrong charger for my phone. So thankfully I have some juice to make this vlog. But I was like, you know what? Let me not to go too far because I need a GPS to get my butt back home. Especially if it gets dark and you can't see the signs and stuff. Okay. So I was like, nope, I'm not going to go far. Hey, because of the lockdown, you can't even leave your state, can you? Or do they check your temperature if you have to cross the border? If you're doing... I mean, it's a country, so you can't really be stopped from crossing between states. I don't know, but every state feels like its own country, if I'm completely honest, especially with this corrupt government. Uh, governor. Anyway, guys, why do my eyebrows look like bleached brown? It's probably the lighting. I really love these shades. Hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna get going before I look suspicious as heck sitting here for 10 minutes.
by the water meter <laughs> of some business. Hope that clarifies everything. Hope that makes sense. I could be wrong, but have a discussion in the comments below. Let me know. What do you think? If you've watched all three of these videos about the subject, am I? Am I not? You know, think I'm crazy? Whatever. Okay. You know, again, I'm not saying I am for sure. I'm just saying this is my. Oh, Domino's. Oh, I really want food now. Oh my god. I better get my butt home. I'm hungry. Okay. Bye, y'all. You know how tempting it was to go to the drive-through. God, virus. God, virus.